everyone. This morning, a group of locals is showing their support for law enforcement on a new Facebook page. News 13's Jamie Seymour spoke with those behind that page to hear what they're planning on sharing with you. I tend to try and look at the positive side of things. Robbie Sanchez says his special mission to show support for local law enforcement was inspired by his brother, who was a cop for more than 20 years. He thought about his brother on the streets all of those years and thought officers needed to hear, thank you. Lately, with all the negative criticism that we see, you know, I thought, what a nice way to say thanks. Sanchez created a Facebook page, Law Enforcement and Appreciative Citizens, dedicated to sharing positive photos and stories, like this one of a state police officer taking a young boy in Santa Rosa for a ride-along. The page also talks about the Flash A4. That's a hand signal community members can give to officers. It symbolizes the code 10 which means they're okay. Sanchez says it serves as a sign of gratitude. Now we do it still in our cars every time we see them. You know, flash before, uh, they always flash right back too, so it's kind of a nice little way to communicate with our law enforcement personnel. Both state police and officers in Albuquerque say they're grateful for the support. Expresses their support and appreciation for what we do, you know, trying to better the community. And the 10-4 means that we're all safe. Uh, that's a sign that we show each other. And for the public to get involved in that, just to flash that sign, it's really awesome. Sanchez says it's a dangerous job and he wants officers to know their work does not go unnoticed. We've got a lot of dedicated men and women behind the badge in Albuquerque and we just want to continue to have a tradition here in Albuquerque of saying thanks a lot because we really do need those folks. Jamie Seymour, KRQE News 13. Pretty neat. All right, the Facebook page has nearly 100 members so far. You can find a link to that on our website that's always on krqe.com.